Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Playwright tutorial, I'm going to quickly discuss about how you can go ahead and handle checkboxes. So something like this, this checkbox wherein you check and uncheck and the radio button. For example, here you see certain radio buttons, how you can go ahead and handle these using your Playwright script or in Playwright automation. Now there are checkboxes here as well in this automation practice page, but there is some configuration error. So I would not suggest to use these, uh, but you can play around with these radio buttons in here. Here, okay and for checkbox we'll use this login.salesforce.com and use this checkbox so by default if you see if I go ahead and search this login page right load it you'll see that this particular checkbox is unchecked now within playwright how we can go ahead and handle the checkbox how we can check it and see that it is actually checked put the assertion etc we'll learn all of that so let me quickly go back to VS code and I'll copy this demo 4 file and let me rename this paste it and I'll rename this to radio and checkbox demo okay and then here okay so I think spec has let me change it so we need demo dot spec so spec uh, got removed so that's why it was not so now we have renamed this file and now we will go ahead and see how we are going to handle checkbox so first thing we'll go ahead and load the page okay so let me remove these lines and the test name is radio and checkbox so you can put any name in here and now we go to the page right so we simply go ahead and open this particular page first right so from our script we'll say page.go to and it will open that login page and now in order to select a checkbox or work with the checkbox it's absolutely similar to what other web elements you have been working with within playwright so for example we are working with the button right clicking on this particular button we go ahead identify the locator for that particular start my free trial or login button and then go ahead and click on it right or if you want to type something in the username so we first identify the locator for this particular text box and then we say okay send keys in there right or type something or write something in there so same way in order to select a checkbox first thing you have to identify the locator for it right so how we'll go ahead and identify a locator simply right click okay and inspect so in any browser you will see that particular developer uh, uh, dev tools feature and then it, this will open and I'll simply click on this little icon here this is edge browser so you'll find something similar if you're using edge and then hover over and you will see that if I click I'll be the the code html code will be highlighted that is against this particular checkbox so you'll see that this is a tag input and type is checkbox now in order to get the locator of it i'll simply go ahead right click and copy the selector right so i copy selector or copy xpath so i'll say copy selector and then i'll say control f control v and it will i'll paste that particular locator to check it right now this is complete default browser feature now there are various plugins okay that are available to find the locator but i highly recommend you go ahead and visit the css selector and xpath series the complete tutorial how you are going to locate the web elements that i have posted so you understand basically what this particular hash is all about right and then so if you see this name right so if i have to write css selector hash is basically the name and then the value of the name right so that's how the css selector works so you'll see that this is unique and i can go ahead and straight away use it within playwright to locate this particular web element right so i'll copy this and in the script i'll simply go back here and start writing my next step so i'll say await page dot locator right we have got the locator so now i'll say page dot locator and put the locator in there which is basically this particular locator and then i simply what what exactly i want to do with this particular checkbox i want to check it right so i'll simply say click right because click will basically now i have found this particular locator if i'll click on it it will get checked right so I'll, there is a method click and that's it right so basically this is what you have to do in order to select or check a checkbox all right select a checkbox find the locator use the locator and dot click method now if i have to ensure that after this particular step the checkbox is actually selected or not right so i want to put some assertion there so within playwright we have expect assertion right so we'll simply say expect that this particular checkbox is actually checked so i'll simply say page dot locator that particular locator dot 
to be checked right so there is a method to be checked which will ensure which will check whether the checkbox whether whether this particular locator that you have selected is actually checked or not right so if it, if you use this this method it will ensure that the locator points to a checked input right now you'll see that this is a checkbox which is of you know type input and it is a if it is checked it will ensure that it will return that true and the test will pass okay so now let me quickly go ahead and save it and run this particular test so you can see what happens you see remember me has been checked right and if i go back here you will see the test has passed that means this particular check has also passed right so this is how easy it is to handle check boxes within playwright now in order to work with radio buttons it's absolutely similar right now for radio buttons what i'll do is i'll go ahead and use these radio buttons that are on the automation practice page so i'll simply copy this url okay and now i'll go to this particular page right and then instead of the checkbox let me go ahead and comment these two lines in here now i'll show you how you are going to work with radio buttons it's absolutely similar nothing different but i'll cover a little bit more things about checkboxes and radio buttons right so let me go back here say for example i want to select any of the radio button in here so i'll simply go ahead right click and inspect let me find the locator for these radio buttons first and then so you'll see that it is of type input and the type uh, basically tag is input type is radio and it has the id right so if i want to get the locator i can specifically get a locator for a particular radio button or i if i want to say for example i don't have any unique identifier for the radio button similarly for the check boxes as well so if say for example i have the type radio okay so i can say okay so the tag is input right and then the type is radio now this particular locator okay this x path that i have typed in that i have written will return all the four elements four radio buttons right you will see two of four so you'll see if i move this search options you will see first one then second got highlighted third fourth right so the the this particular locator is returning all four radio buttons right now within play right if i want to if i am i don't have any specific unique element locator how can i go ahead and say okay out of these four select javascript select python right so if i have unique attribute i know i can simply copy that particular locator right and i'll say something similar right something await page dot locator that particular locator and then i'll say dot click but if i don't have that particular unique locator what i'll do is i'll say page dot locator and i know this particular locator that i am using is returning what is returning four options right so how can i go ahead and say select you know a particular um section or a particular number out of it right so i can say okay dot first you'll see there are methods right so out of these if you say dot first will select the first radio button which is html then there is a method dot last as well or nth okay so if i say dot first all right let's say i'm saying dot first and then i'm saying dot click so this will go ahead and select the first radio button and then click it okay similarly let's do the last and this you can do with the radio button with the check boxes with any web element that are multiple so you can use any of these sort of logic right i'm just showing you the possibility so you'll see last dot click so first time it will select the first one then it will select the last one right now if i have to select some specific number i want to select the third one okay what will i do i'll simply go ahead and say nth right so there is a method nth okay so if i say nth and if i hover over you will see returns locators to the nth matching element it's zero based that means if i say nth of zero that means first element if i say nth of one that means second right so if there are four elements in there it is zero based so if i say nth of zero that means html one is css two is javascript and three is python right so if i say three uh, basically two it should select javascript right so let me say nth of two and then dot click right let's see how it works okay so now it should first select the first radio button then go to the last one and then come to the third one right because nth of two so let me go ahead and quickly run this particular test and see it in action so page is opening and should select the first one 
okay you see first and then uh, last and then finally the third one okay let's quickly go ahead and rerun it it was really quick so let me close this so let me minimize this and you'll see that it has basically passed right but first and then last and then the third one right so it was really quick so let me go ahead and rerun it takes a little while you'll see it straight away went to the last and then came to the third one right so this is basically how you can if there is no unique identifier there are multiple web elements that are being returned there are methods within playwright to work with first last nth any sort of numbering or uh, the the locators that are within that particular array right so it's a zero based so you can go ahead and select accordingly okay and then the method to be checked basically to ensure whether the particular selection of radio button and checkbox if you want to assert you have the assertion available within play playwright expect that you can use to ensure whether that particular selector locator is selected or not okay so that's all for this video on how to handle radio buttons and checkboxes within playwright i hope this was helpful thank you very much for watching see you in the next lecture